Here is related rate problem. So when two things are related, their rate of change is also related, right? So based on that, we have a question here. A stone is dropped into a lake and the waves move in circles at a speed of 4 centimeters per second. Determine the radius of this circle when the enclosed area is changing at the rate of 80 centimeters square per second. So what we are given here is, let's say a stone is dropped here, it produces waves, right? It produces these waves. And these waves will move with time, correct? And so what we are given here is, when the stone is dropped, they are moving. And as they move, the radius of the circles form increases, right? And the speed with which it is moving is 4 centimeter per second. So this is 4 centimeter per second. So it is change in radius, for example, you can see this as change in radius, right? So we can write 4 centimeters per second is actually rate of change of radius with respect to time, right? So the distance increases from the center where the stone was dropped at this rate, correct? Now it says, determine the radius of this circle when enclosed area is changing at the rate of 80 centimeter per square. So we are saying that enclosed area dA dt it changes at the rate of 80 centimeter square per second. And we are also given that radius is changing at this rate. And what do we need to find? Determine the radius when this happens. Right? So let's relate area with radius first and then differentiate with respect to time. So that is the strategy. So we know area of a circle is equals to pi r square. Now if I differentiate both sides by t, I get dA over dt equals to 2 pi r dr over dt. Correct? So that is what I get. Now in this situation, we want to know what is r when dA dt is 80 and dr dt is 4 centimeters per second. I hope you understand now the question. So we'll substitute these values and calculate. So we'll substitute here dA dt is 80 for us, 2 pi and r we need to find and dr dt is 4 centimeters per second, right? So now we can rearrange and find r. So r is equals to 80 divided by 2 times 4 times pi, right? That gives us 80 divided by 8 is 10, so 10 over pi is the radius of these circles, concentric circles formed when the stone is dropped, correct? You can always find the, ex this is the exact value, you can always find the radius in terms of decimals by dividing. So we can have 10 divided by pi gives us 3.18, right? So we can say approximately 3.2 centimeters. So the answer is radius is, you know, some, if nothing is given here, we can always write the exact value, which is 10 over pi centimeters, or it could be approximately 3.2 centimeters when the change in area is 80 centimeters square. Do you see that? So that's our answer. And I hope you understand this strategy. So strategy is relate area with radius. And since we are given rate of change of area and rate of change of radius with respect to time, differentiate with respect to time and substitute the values given to you, find the unknown. Simple as that. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.